From Hollywood, here's the game where knowledge is king and lady luck is queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Jack Berry. Hey, thank you very much for welcome to the Joker's Wild. Thank you. On the last program, you, those of you watching, saw a very exciting moment when our current champion won his fifth game and a brand new automobile. He then went on to win another game. We didn't get a chance to play his bonus round, which we're going to do right now when Johnny Jacobs tells us who he is. Okay, Jack, our current champion, returning with over $16,200 in cash and prizes. He designs computer systems, Peter Nagel. Welcome back to the Joker's Wild, Peter. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be back. You're entering a rarefied circle of people who have won a lot of money on this program. Winning over $16,250, and it hasn't stopped yet because you get a chance to face up to the devil right now. Oh, I know. You ready to do it, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Remember on the last program? Remember when we <laughs> talked about the fact that for ho a hobby you tap dance? Right. Remember you said that if you could come over here and play against the devil, you would <laughs> tap dance over? I remember that. We're going to put our cameras on you as best we can, and we're going to see Peter Nagel tap dancing over to meet the devil. Come on over, Peter. Oh, that felt great. It looked good. You've never done it professionally. <laughs> never, never. I can tell you about 20 or 30 million people just saw you do it. I know. I realize that. <laughs> I realize now that it's the gong show. <laughs> I'm rather nonplussed as to what to say at this point. I have to agree with you. Since our good friend Johnny Jacobs, the announcer of the gong show, is also our announcer right here. So we, we will refrain from making any comments about competitive shows, all right? Definitely. Instead, we'll give you a chance to... Try to win some more money. Up on the wheels, nothing but money and devils. Every time you spin and avoid the devil, you get the money. Get to $1,000 or more, as you know, without seeing the devil. You'll get another 1000 And look over here at the gifts you'd get this time. Peter, it's a Joker's Wild Fun at Home package. First, it's an ideal gift for your studier den. A roll-top desk with built-in stereo from Capehart. Glorious sound at home stereo. Roll-top desk featuring built-in AM, FM radio. Eight-track player, automatic record changer, stereo speakers from Capehart. Next, enjoy your home movies on the UMIG R2000 Super 8 console movie projector. View your home movies on its unique built-in screen or on a wall screen. It's the projector of tomorrow today. And while viewing your movies, relax with the Lazy Boy's famous wall recliner, Sofet. Reclines when placed one inch from the wall, lets you recline separately. It's ideal where space is limited, and it's a Lazy Boy. And finally, Peter, you'll have fun watching all your favorite TV shows on a giant projector TV set. From months, the originator of self-contained projection television. It has remote control, electronic tuning, and a 50-inch diagonal screen for your home viewing enjoyment, furnished by months. This fun at home package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,800. Oh. Peter. Peter, I'd like to say that there's nothing more I enjoy than the exuberance you display when you hear the prizes that you can possibly win. So only one thing I'd like to say, next time you're going to yell, would you yell in this ear? Because I think this ear has had it. I'll, I'll try, Jack. All right. Good luck to you. Give him a spin. Okay. Thank you, Jack. Come on, money. First spin gets you 75, 25, and 50. There's $150 if you stop now. Do you want to stop or do you want to go? The boss says go. Okay, give another spin. Okay, here we go. It's $350. Come on, come on. You have $200, $100. Whoa! Wow. Oh. That's about as big a spin as you can get. $300, $400, $500, $600, $650. The boss, the boss says go. Risking, risking $650. Okay, here we go. Come on, money! Come on, a triple, a triple! Oh. Boy, you got lots of luck in the game. It's mostly skill, but you don't have too much luck against that devil. No, the devil done get me. Well, <laughs> you are still winning $16,250. You'll play your seventh game. Maybe you can run it up right after these words right here. Card Sharks. Now Peter Nagel goes into game number seven, $16,250. Richer, let's see how he does in this game against this challenger. She's a writer, Jack, collects miniature furniture and got married twice in one week. Meet Cindy Whitcomb. 
Hi, Cindy. Hi, Jack. Pleased to have you here. Thank what, you. you got married twice in one week? Yeah. To whom? The same guy. Well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Tell us about that. Well, we got married in California with all my family, and then a week later we flew to New York and got married again with his whole family. So. Oh, isn't that... <laughs> well, I must say, it is rare that you meet anybody who's been married twice in one week. What does your husband do? He's a marriage counselor. <laughs> well, then you're safe, right? Yeah. Until you meet Peter Nagel, and <laughs> until you meet the categories in this game. Here they are. Categories are Who, What's, and Where's, followed by the Geo Republicans, Academy Awards, Nicknames of States, and finally, Comic Strips. Those are the categories. Here are the players. Cindy, you're up first. Good luck. Okay. Academy Awards. Comic Strips, Republicans, and a Joker. I'll take Comic Strips for $100, Jack. All right. Name the Comic Strip title character whose friends include Zonker, Harris, Megaphone Mark, Ms. Caucus, and Uncle Duke. Mike Doonesbury. Doonesbury, right. You have $100. Starting <laughs> your seventh game, Peter. Good luck. <sighs> Come on, Jokers. Joker, 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 Joker. Joker. What, what, where, and a triple. I'll go with uh, who's, what's, and where's for 200, Jack. General Omar Torrijos recently signed an historic treaty with President Carter. Which country does Torrijos lead? Panama. Right, you have $200. Oh, wow. Or $100, 200 your spin, Cindy. Okay, see some jokers. Joker, joker. Oh. Nicknames of states. I'm gonna go off the board and take Academy Awards for $100. Okay. A popular Charles Dickens story was remade into a 1968 musical that won the Best Picture Award. Name this melodious movie. Oliver. Correct for $200. Yeah. That's your score, and Peter. Here we go, Jack. Come on, Joker, 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 Joker. Comic strips, and who, what, where. Uh, I'll take uh, who, what, where for 100, Jack. In, in 1978, the running of the Bulls in Pamplona was canceled. The event was first made famous by the novel The Sun Also Rises, written by a famous American novelist. Who is he? I hope it's Hemingway. It is indeed, and you have $300. George, you want to be 300? You're Spin Cindy. Okay, let's see something good now. Academy Awards, comic strips, and a pair. I'll take Academy Awards for $100. Elizabeth Taylor was thought to be too young and beautiful to be cast as the venomous Martha in this 1966 film. She fooled the skeptics and won an Oscar. Name the film. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Correct, you now have $300. Peter? Come on. Jokers, come on, Joker, 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 Joker. Triple, Academy triple. Awards, comic strips, and a pair. I'll go with uh, Academy Awards for 100, Jack. In 1953, actor William Holden won an Academy Award for his role as the questionable hero of a German prisoner of war camp. Name this award-winning movie. Stalag 17. Correct, you have $400. Oh, wow. Wow. Cindy? Okay. Nickname, Joker, and Academy Awards. I'll take Academy Awards for $100. Correct answer brings you to $400 and ties it up. Jane Fonda won an Oscar for Best Actress in 1971 when she played a call girl who helped Detective Donald Sutherland solve a crime. Name the suspenseful film. Clute. Yes, you now have $400. <laughs> Your spin, Peter. Wow. Come on, Jokers, 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 Joker, Jokers. Joker, comic strips, and Republicans. I'll take uh, comic strips for 100, Jack. I point out to you that if you answer this correctly, you will have $500 and you will have won your seventh game. However, if you miss the question, your opponent also has 400, and if she answers it, she becomes the new champion. Here is the question. A well-known comic strip character is continually being hempicked by his wife, Maggie. For $500, your seventh game, and a grand total of $16,750, what's the husband's name? I'm going to have to go with uh, Dagwood Bumstead. That is not right, and I think your opponent knows it. And if she does know it, it will be the end of a magnificent streak here on the program. For $500 and a victory, what is the husband's name? I hope he's Andy Cap. No. <laughs> No, 
It's Jigs. Ah, Jigs. Oh. Maggie and Jigs. Wow. How quickly they forget. I was going to say Popeye. <laughs> it's all tied up. 400 apiece, Whew. so you're both still in the game. Your spin, Cindy. Okay. This is the big one now. Comic strips. Who on where? And a joker. I'll try comic strips for $100. That's because you did so well in the last one, huh? Correct answer brings you to 500. That's all you need to win. But Peter gets his final turn. This comic strip is set in the Stone Age and has characters such as Wiley the Poet, Clumsy Carp, and Grog. Name this Johnny Hart comic strip. BC. Right? You have 500 dollars. <laughs> well, Peter, it all comes down to this. Here you are. She's got you by $100. You've got to spin a double or a triple, or three jokers. Anything comes up other than that, the game is over and she's the new champion. First, let's see how lucky you are with your spin. Come on, Joker! Come on, Joker! Joker, 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 Who Joker! Who Joker, Joker, Joker! And a triple! Oh. All the way, all the way, Jack. 200 on who, what, and where. Correct answer brings you another victory and brings your winnings up to $6,850. If you missed this question, Cindy doesn't have to answer a thing. She already has her 500, and she would be the winner. Here is the question. In a cattle-raising country in South America, the cowboys are called gauchos. Their jobs are similar to our own cattle herders. For $16,850, in which country would you find gauchos at work? Argentina. Right, for $16,850. Congratulations, Peter. There you go with your seventh game. You're winning $16,850 and, of course, a chance to play against the devil in just a moment. As for you, young lady, you are in one whale of a battle. And I'm sorry you couldn't win. The audience, obviously, you have a great many admirers out there who wanted you to win. But there they are. The backstage will be a nice consolation prize, a nice big hand for Cindy Whitcomb. We'll be back right after this. Eastern only on Game Show Network. Thank you very much, John. And Peter Nagel, you've been here before against the devil. Come on and see if you have better luck this time. Congratulations again. I'm glad to be back again. Well, you've had bad luck against the devil the past two times. That devil came up. This time, if you can stay away from that devil and go all the way, you get $1,000 plus the desk and stereo set, the movie projector, the sofet, the giant screen television, and to all told, you have $3,800 to add to your winnings, which would bring you up over $20,000. But you've had bad luck against the devil. Let's see how you fare this time. Give him all a right. spin. Thank you. Here we go, Jack. Come on. Let's triple, let's triple. Come on. 125, 50. All right. $75 if you stop now. Are you going to stop or go? The boss is saying go. Give him a spin. Okay. $50, $100, $50. $375. The boss says go. Okay, give him a spin, risking $375. Come on, and that's a triple, a triple, a triple. $50, $200, $25. Going up there in the stratosphere. Right. Boss is saying go. All right, you sure? 650. You sure? You, you want me to go? Go? Okay, she's sure. Here we go. Come on, an actual triple, a triple. Come on, come on. 150, 50. You're at $850. What are you going to do? Oh. Go? Go? You sure? All right. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Come on. I need it. I need 150, it. 75, over the top. Congratulations, Peter. First, let me give you your money. 100, One, 200, 300, three, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,100, plus the stereo, plus the movie projector, plus the sofet and the giant screen television, all told, in cash and prizes, you're getting up with some of the biggest winners we've ever had, $20,750. Oh, my gosh. I just, I just believe it's, it's, it's just unreal. Oh, it's, it's, it's hard to explain the experience. Let me ask you one thing. Look down. 
You it's say real. It's unreal. That's real. It's right? real. Yes. All right. Go on back and play in game number eight. A nice hand for a fine champion. Well, there's a big winner, and maybe more to come as he battles against this player. Jack, she's a personal representative and former nursery school teacher from Toronto, Canada. Meet Mary Strong Bogue. Hi, Mary. Hello. Nice to have you here. Thank you. That's an interesting last name, Strong Bogue. Yes, it's not Indian, though. <laughs> It's, uh, nor originally it was Viking and it went into Scotland and somehow we got the strong added to the Bogue and uh, I ended up with a strong Bogue. That's me, Mary. Well, I must strong say you bogue. have a very <laughs> unusual name. As a matter of fact, Mary is one of the most interesting names I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Mary Strong Bogue, nice to have you here. We have lots of friends watch the program in Canada, in Toronto especially and many other places, so maybe some of your old friends will see you. Oh, I okay? hope so. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the categories that will be used in this, the eighth game for Peter Nagel. Famous people, followed by the Roaring Twenties. Then we have All About Colors, Grammar, and finally, Native Countries. Challenger goes first, Mary Strongbow, you're up. Good luck. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Joker, Roaring Twenties, and a triple. Okay, I'll go Roaring Twenties for 200. A Chinese game that uses colorfully marked tiles was an American rage during the 20s. For $200, name the game. Mahjong. Right, you have $200. <laughs> Peter, start of game number eight. Good luck. Come on, Jokers. Joker, Joker, Joker. Come on, come on, Joker, Joker, Joker. Joker. Roaring Twenties and Grammar. I'll go, uh, Jack, with the uh, Roaring Twenties for 100. Tell you one thing about Peter. He may have made $20,000, but he earned it. <laughs> a drug which has saved the lives of thousands of diabetics first became available for public use in 1923. Name this life-saving substance. Insulin. Right? You have $100. <laughs> oh. Your spin, Mary. Okay. Here goes. Famous people, Roaring Twenties, and a joker. Okay, famous people for 100 please. Look behind me, if you will. Take a look at this face. He's one of the most publicized union leaders in the American labor movement today. Name him. Can't do it? You'll pick up $100 if you can tell me, Peter. You can't do it either. That's Cesar Chavez of the United My Farm Workers. Sorry nobody got it, but Peter, it's your spin. Oh, my eyes are blind. Come on, jokers! Come on, jokers! A triple, a triple. Roaring 20s and a joker. Let's try a uh, different category this time, Native Countries for 100, Jack. All right. Although she was born in India, this leading lady received most of her education in England. In 1965, she won an Academy Award for her role in Darling. Name this beautiful actress. Can't do it. You'll pick up $100 if you can tell me, Mary. Julie Christie? Yes, that's right. You're actually in a Score 300 to 100, and we'll be back to finish the game the first time after this. This is Memorial Day and Midnight Eastern. We are less than a week away. Yes, sir. We're less than a week away from our annual Joker's Wild Tournament. Now, these eight contestants, whose faces I'm familiar to, to, familiar to many of you, are the eligible top money winners of last year. They're going to compete against each other in a series of elimination games, and the winner will then battle it out with Frank Dillon. There he is, our reigning champion who won the championship last year. Now, the winner of that match will be declared the champion, and ladies and gentlemen, that winner will receive $100,000. Including cash and prizes. What are the prizes, Johnny? First set, a brand new Buick. The Skyhawk with compact, even firing V6 engine for smooth economical power overall, sporty styling and comfort, the Skyhawk. And there'll be four different trips, each to another part of the world. They'll travel to Paris, Morocco, Switzerland, and the South Pacific. And Johnny, what else will the champion win? Our champion will receive a den full of delightful gifts, including this super stereo from Akai. The choice of serious music lovers a world over AM, FM, stereo receiver, cassette tape, deck matching speakers, and direct drive turntable Akai. You never heard it so good, and while listening to music, our champion can relax or entertain with Berkline's contemporary new den group with billowing pillows and bright bold fabrics and cane and rattan for the South Seas look. Include soap and love seat clutch, mashing corner and cocktail tables, all designed for years of casual comfort and easy care. Furnished by Berkline, one of these contestants 
will receive the tournament prize totaling in cash and prizes $100,000. So be with us in less than a week and be with us on the next joke as well. For all of us, here's Jack Barry saying be with us next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you. He is. He isn't. I might be. All new Three's a Crowd. Find out who knows you best weeknights at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. The Joke is Wild is a Jack Perry and Dan Enright production.